before they lose my tail. They saw they had stolen marbles. They were troubled and hasted away.
going to be standing. We're just going to invite our prophetess to just open up the service. You know, we have to pray again. Hallelujah. It's just blessings and bless. Thank <laughs> you. 
verses towards me, and it's not a really good thing that I don't know why I'm here, but I thank God because His mercy doesn't show forever. Amen. He's patient with us, amen. Even when, you know, we don't, we don't do things we should do, but He's just that kind of God, and I really appreciate Him tonight, amen. Welcome to our youth convocation. Praise the Lord 2014, amen. Thank God for everyone who is here, amen. For everyone who is in this place tonight, we thank God for what He's done, amen, and for what He will do, amen. I want to give God thanks, amen. This time we're going to have the um, scripture reading. Praise the Lord. And we've had our young people come and read the scriptures for us. Praise the Lord. And so I'm going to ask, praise the Lord, Brother Samuel Johnson, praise the Lord, to come and read for us our first scripture. Praise the Lord. And that's going to be Matthew 21, verses 29 to 31. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to the Lord and we find it. Praise the Lord. Matthew 21, verse 29 to 31. Amen. Because of the brother and Emmanuel Manit, amen. If you could prepare to read Romans 8, verses 14, and Romans 8, verses 29. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And if I could just ask, if you have a handbag on the chair next to you, if you could put it on the floor so the ushers can see where, amen, the available seats are. Praise the Lord. So if you have a handbag or a coat or a jacket, amen, just remove it so that the ushers can see where the available seats are. Amen. The sanctuary, praise the Lord. Let's stand, amen. Matthew 21, verses 29 to 31. Praise the Lord. 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 But what think he, a certain man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not, but afterwards he repented and went. And he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he, and he answered and said, I go, sir, and he went not. Wherever of them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him, the first, Jesus saying unto them, May and may I say unto you, that the publicans of the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. Praise the Lord, and that's the Praise the Lord, if you come in, read Romans 8, verses 14, and also verse 29. Praise the Lord. 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 For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. In verse 29. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Absolute yes. I was challenged about my yes and whether or not my yes was absolute. You know, because you can say partially yes and then you can say a full yes. And you know, I was challenged about what a complete yes looks like. And then I was still being challenged you know, about that. What does a full, what does an absolute yes look like? And you know, I was thinking about Jesus himself. You know, he is our perfect example. He said absolutely yes. Amen. To taking on all of our sins, to taking on everything, you know, that taking on our healing, to taking on our liberty, gave an absolute yes. And so I was challenged that, you know, Keisha, what does an absolute yes look like? What does your yes look like? Does your yes look like Abraham who was told to go? You know, don't even know where you're going, but just to take up, pack up everything and just move. That's an absolute yes. You know, I was thinking about Noah. Amen. God told him to build an ark. You know, you don't see rain before, but God's telling you to build a boat. That's an absolute yes. Amen. So I was just really challenged even in my own life to 
Give God an absolute yes, no. There are many things that we say yes to, but our yes is not full. And I'm speaking from experience. Our yes is not always full. We'll say yes to some things, and there are other things that we don't completely say yes to. The songwriter says completely yes. And when I want to challenge everyone, I challenge also myself that what does an absolute yes look like? What kind of sacrifices are we willing to make? Amen. To go after God. Is it absolute yes? And I am so challenging. God just get challenged. Is your yes absolute? Is it a complete yes? Amen. Is it a partial yes? Is it, oh, I'll do some, but I won't do all. And so I'm encouraging you as I'm encouraging myself to give God an absolute yes. And you know, the scriptures are there to show us what an absolute yes looks like. Amen. And I'm really just encouraged to give God an absolute yes. An absolute yes speaks of sacrifice. It speaks about doing things that you are uncomfortable with. Amen. It's an absolute yes unto the Lord. And He does reward us with faith. And when we are faithful, He does reward. He's not a man that He should lie. Amen. He is faithful. Amen. At this time, you know, today we want to have a very worshipful atmosphere. And so we're going to stand tonight and we're just going to. Sing this song before I pass this to us. We're going to stand and I'm going to quiet talk. So we're going to sing, Only You Are Holy. Amen. Only You Are Wonderful. Amen. So there's no one else like you. What I've come to learn about the Lord is that when you tell him about himself, when you tell him that he's great, when you tell him about his awesomeness, you know, he does respond. Amen. You know, one of my favorite songs is, you know, Oh, how I love him. How I adore him. You know, he's my breath. He's my sunshine. He's my only Lord. My the great creator. The king. My savior. Amen. You know, it was when I think about the song that says, you know, um, to God be the glory. You know, when I consider all the works that I have with me, I see the stars. I think of all the things like how throughout the universe is made. Then, Sings my song, and then my Savior goes to have a great
together to clean the saints of God, we're gathered here tonight, amen, in this house of praise, you're in your Father's house, amen, and do feel free to worship the Lord your God without restraint. Really, I'm pleased tonight for the brethren who are amongst us um, from various churches, we just want to recognize you at this point by name, there's so many men and women of the Lord here tonight, we just want to take this time to recognize you, if we don't do so again by name, you forgive, amen, but we just want to give honor to those who have turned up tonight, amen, we'll start with just, I'll go from my, my right to my left, amen, we have uh, Overseer Wilson from our Luton branch, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Pastor Chandler from our Bedford branch. Yes, we have our Apostle Miles, our General Overseer. Yes, we have the second year of running. We've been blessed with a, a very live and direct word and a relevant word from the Lord through another person, our Pastor David Lewis. So we appreciate you. Yes, we stand up this evening. Bless the name of the Lord. It's been sweet. It's been sweet. And I thank the Lord for you obeying the voice of God to do what you do, sir. I don't even know where and how to start. But I, I thank God for this brother of mine, Minister Andrew Smith. to me, but I feel that way tonight. You know when, before we were saved, if you were walking in certain places and it was a bit dangerous, you'd feel safer if you have certain language in. <laughs> and I thank God for Brother Andrew. I feel like we've got the man built tonight. We mean worship. We mean worship, amen. And we mean the kingdom of God. And I just, I just love that we have the spirit of God and His spirit. Your spirit's a blessing to us. And we thank God for you, God. This has been a blessing to our saints. We appreciate you. Sister Kay from Europe. Yes. 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 She's not a next generation woman of God. She's a now generation woman of God. Yes. We thank God for you. Of God in you, we say shine. Amen. Amen. Be faithful. Amen. We trust in the Lord for your miracle. Yes. I know people may say that if you feel nervous or whatever, maybe you're tired of it, but we trust in God for your miracle. Yes. Amen. When you put Jesus at the center, he'll do his own work. Amen. Yes. He's a good God. Our moderator for tonight with me, our sister Keisha, a new freedom of our house. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Friend of this fellowship, I haven't seen him for so many years, but he was here last night. It's such a blessing to see you, sir. Our elder Rob, let's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, we thank God for our next pastor. Um, he has affected our youth in this church um, to a degree that they said we have to have him this year. Um, I thank God for you. I couldn't make the meeting, but I heard the meeting last year and the young people were such a blessing. Amen. And you've affected our young people. I want to thank God for you in your ministry, Pastor Colin Adler. God bless you. Sir. I should just say, if, if you're here from Nottingham, just stand away and see who you are. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Amen. I believe that's. I believe that's. Your wife? Your wife? Yes. Your wife? Yes. Your wife? His wife. Okay, that's good. I'm honoring his wife. The daughter of the blessing that followed from the name. Bless the Lord. God bless you. Amen. I think we have a mom or mother in law here as well. Evangelist. Evangelist Hall. Praise the Lord. God bless you, mom. God bless you. God bless you. All the way from Hattingham. All the way from Hattingham. Our Apostle Denny from our Luton Brown. Our best sister. We're going to get over there. We're going to get over there. We have a, you blessed us today, so we do continue. We encourage you to keep standing in our generation. Amen. Be the voice of God to us. We appreciate you, sir. Amen. We thank the Lord. Yes, we're going to come. We're going to come. We're going to come to beautiful. We're going to hit them again. 
pastor, prophetess, evangelist, minister, mother, sister, auntie, flowers. Minister Stewart, based in our house in Rome, God bless you. We are going to be with you. Our elder and pastor Epi from Aragon, our elder, God bless you. And one of our youth leaders from Luton, our sister Patricia Parks, God bless you. Pastor Oscar Russell from our Luton Rock, God bless you. Our minister Johnson from Carlson, Harrow and Canada, God bless you. Missionary, youth leader, Angelina Cox. <laughs> and now lead singer too, we found out last night. God bless you. I love this man of God. I love this man of God. I love people who love It's easy to love people who are lovely, isn't it? And he's just one of those men. I, I, I just will never forget the night I was preaching and my wife wasn't there and I was sweating and sweating. And um, man of God brought me his hanky. You know, little things you just don't forget them. So I love you, Pastor Dawkins. God bless you. And he's a wife here tonight. Yeah. Bless you, Mom. God bless you too. Yeah. Man of Dawkins. Now, all the saints from Beulah, elevated saints. Let's just see who you are tonight. Let's see who you are. Beulah, Beulah, stand. Show us, show us. Okay, have I forgotten anybody? 
Okay, now all the saints from Bethel. Let's just see who you are and stand tonight. We're going to hear from you a bit later. Bethel, young people. Don't be afraid now. Don't be afraid. Let's stand and see you. They've been with us all day. God bless you. Privileges. The first time that you're with us, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Now, uh, someone is okay, they give me another note. We're gonna just try and do a bit of chain rearrangement and we're gonna sing a song in the process of that. But can we just stand up and honor the Lord Jesus Christ in the midst of us? Minister of Scoffy, give him the high brother again and share. God bless you. Minister of Scoffy, the house of one of our new ministers. Amen. We're going to lift our hands to the one we love the best. Amen. We're going to just honor him in this house. Amen. He's the highest of the highest. He's the holiest.
great support. I want to ask you to testify maybe about the time when you had to say yes to the Lord. I wanted to encourage the church of God to worship you. We'll follow your contribution by a song from, from your church tonight. Amen. I wasn't sure to have a song for a second. I'm going to ask Brother Wayne just to come right now in this atmosphere of worship and praise. Amen. Exalt the church and be followed by the song by the Nottingham Church. Brother Wayne, God bless you. God bless you, sir. It's not about I don't know and unsure. 
You know who God is for yourself. Amen. If you don't know who God is for yourself, there's a thing here called the Bible. This is instruction for leaving earth. Yes. It will tell you everything you need to know, everything that you need to be able to get yourself out of. When it's time to use it, you use it wisely. When it's time that you're not even sure how to use it, you ask somebody. That's why they're here. Yes. You don't keep them, you gotta use them. That's why they're here. If I need some problems, I've got my advice with my grandma right down here. I can say, no, no, I don't feel like talking to my dad about the situation. I'm gonna come to you. And she's gonna say to me, Brother Wayne, you do it like this. Brother Wayne, you do it like that. And I say, thank you. And she continues to say to me, keep going on in Jesus' name. That's what I understand. That's how I want to remain on. Even if it's a young people's service, we are all people. And we all are going to go for a certain target. And the target is heaven. Pray my Holy Ghost strength. For the time ain't easy. And the world ain't making it nowhere easy. Too many programs are turning me. Too many programs are making me think. But I know the God I serve. I know the promise I made. I know the one who saved me. My true and living God can hold my hand in every, not some, every situation because I said yes. Amen. Amen. The power of yes. Glory to God. And God will bless you on your last song. Looks like it's his pastor. Son and daughter. What a blessing. <laughs> it's ever with you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.
not a full time because we were originally full time. So it was a wonderful and often and a wonderful while the concert. Oh, 
expensive shoes, but you know what? In time, they're going to fall apart, they're going to become old, we're going to throw them away. But when you say yes to Jesus, you will never have a chance to throw him away. He will always be on your side.
tonight, I want you to love the Holy Ghost. Sister Ty, I want you to give your testimony of deliverance. And let young people know the power of prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll be obedient to my pastor now. I'll give the recent testimony that I have. I also have something that the Lord has laid upon my heart. And I'll take liberty to do that as well. Because I asked him to call me by name. Amen. And I believe that he's done so. Amen. Um, recently, about two weeks ago, my grandmother was taken ill into hospital. And we were told that she had to have an emergency operation on her heart. And, um, you know, obviously, my, I lost my mother when I was 16. So my grandmother has been an awful lot to me. And I came into church, I found out on Sunday morning, I came into church and in worship time I said, Lord, now is not the time. And I said, I'm going to worship you like you have done what I'm asking of you to do. As the week went on, we found out that she had a heart attack and she had a triple heart bypass. And three days after the operation, she still hadn't woken up. And the surgeon called in the family and they said, you know, if she, if she doesn't wake up, she's likely to have brain damage, she's likely to have liver, liver, kidney damage. And I was driving home one day and I just began to feel my faith was weakening. I didn't feel as strong anymore and I felt like my emotions were getting the better of me. And as I was driving home, the Lord said to me, some things only come about by prayer and fasting. And the next morning I woke up and I began my fast. And the Lord began to reveal to me the spirit of death that was in her unit. And it rose a stand within me. And I began to think about the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I began to think about his death and his resurrection and the power that we have in him. Yes. And I got down on my knees and the Lord gave me two words. He gave me Luke 10, I think 19, when it says he's given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and power over the enemy. And then also I believe in Isaiah 53, verse 5, I think, when it says, by his stripes we were killed. And I began to go to war. And I was on my face and I was warring. And I got up and I got dressed. And I was on the train, still had my mind focused on Warren. And when I got to the train station at South Kensington, it dropped in my spirit, it has been done. But I was so focused on Warren that I kind of didn't settle within me. And when I got to the hospital, I walked in and I saw my grandmother's eyes open. And I went up to the nurse and I said, what time did this happen? And he said, 1.30. I said, that is when I went to war. My grandmother was sent home. And they take the sacrifice 
and they whip it, they curse it, they put a crown of thorn on its head, and they put, they strip it from its body, and they mock the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. They do this, Satan does this, he mocks it because he knows that in Christ's death and resurrection, he is defeated. He is the <laughs> In the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, he defies the odds. And you know, even today, I was saying to Brother William, we read from 2 Chronicles 20. And it's, one, it's a scripture that I have just received so much from in my Christian life. And verse 21, it says, And when they had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, that they should praise the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord.
interested in. That's the only yes that he answers. Because nothing but the best will do for God. He knows when we're being real. So we can say yes to pastor, and that's good, but if we're not saying yes to Jesus, then we might as well not say yes at all. A full yes unite my heart, God. And many a times our heart is divided because our affections are all over the place. When we talk about heart, we're talking about a place of love. That's the, the emotion and feeling of love. And if you're having trouble saying yes to Jesus, fall in love with him again. Come back again, Lord. Touch me again, Lord. Give me a yes, Lord. From my spirit, Lord, a yes. A yes that he can work with. He can work with nothing less than a hundred percent yes. Nothing less than a hundred percent yes. Yes. We all my heart. And when you say yes to God like that, trust me, things go move. God will move. Young people say yes. Many times we've said yes because we've been brought up that way. It's the right thing to do. Your parents brought you to church and you said yes. And you know, you did all what you should do and you go through the motions. But there's a time when that yes has to come from your heart for yourself. Yes. From my heart. 100% yes. Say yes to Jesus. Amen. Amen.
is a mystery when you pray. There's some witnesses in the house I can
our staff here is going to come and pray for us. I didn't really introduce all the youth leaders tonight, but I thank God for our Deputy National President and Youth Leader from the Minister Tom Chandler. Let's pray for God. Let's stand to the future, man. He's just coming to bless us. Amen. As we stand to give to the glory and honor of the Lord. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your presence, Lord Jesus, that we can feel so richly with us tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time spent in your house, Lord Jesus. And I pray that as we continue our worship in our giving, Lord, that you would bless every single heart that has gathered here tonight, Lord Jesus. You know our needs, Lord Jesus. Nothing is hid from you, Lord Jesus. But Lord, we know that, Lord, you said, prove me now. If I will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon you. Lord Jesus, we know that we cannot read your giving, Lord Jesus. And I pray that as we stretch forth our hands by faith, Lord, you will honor our faith, Lord Jesus. I pray, oh God, that, Lord Jesus, Lord, you will bless, Lord Jesus, Lord, our store baskets, Lord, our pantries, Lord, our kitchens. Lord, they may they never run dry, Lord, but be overflowing, Lord Jesus, oh God, with thy blessings, and Lord Jesus, oh God, with thy good gifts. I pray for those that may be out of work right now, Lord, that you'll open doors to employment. I pray, Lord Jesus, for those that may be struggling, Lord Jesus, you will just help them, for you are present help in time of trouble. I pray, Lord, that the offering collected tonight, Lord Jesus, will be a Lord to the use of the furthest of thy work. And I pray, Lord, that our hearts will remain open, that we might receive the word that is going to be in place, that the word will go forth with power and with the anointing, and that we will see yokes destroyed even in this place tonight. We trust in you, Lord, for it is unto you, Lord Jesus, that the gathering of the people shall be. And all God's people say, Amen. 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 And the Irish National Youth Choir will come to us now. If you are a UK taxpayer, we are able to claim gift aid from the giving tonight. We ask that you take a white envelope from one of our ushers and take the box so we can claim of the money that you've given to us, and in fact, it's no worse. The ushers will be from here too. Thank you.
not a criticism of that. I'm just saying that anything God gives me, I'm going to say it. And I won't have to find my notes to put it back or just or to retract my words because I go by what God gives me. And if He didn't give it to me, I ain't telling you nothing. So, I will make apologies for any broken English you may hear. I will make any apologies for maybe over theatrical in terms of my emotion. However, I can contain what God has given me to suit you. To suit you. So if I don't become politically correct, and if I may be even a bit abrupt and offensive, it's not my words. From Potter, don't ask the cream. And as I was encouraging myself, I'm saying to you now, will you put your seatbelt on? With the young people. Alright, let me just say this to Let me get this right. With the young people.
who were present and base among you, but being absent and bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not common, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. It all cause people to say amen. Praise God, let me see it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I thank God for the theme, praise God, that has been given. The word yes. And I know, praise the Lord, that for the last few days you have been going through this particular uh, word and uh, trying to bring out the various definition of the word yes. Uh, but there comes a time that we, the people of God, have to utilize what we already have. And I'm going to say this to you in one sense. It's nice when you have a bag of fruit, but you never eat any. You just carry the bag of fruit, but you never have anything. You just walk for miles with a bag of fruit. And you never use the bags of fruit. And in the fruits there's oranges, vitamin C. Some of the fruits have vitamin D. Some of the fruits have all sorts of proteins and nutrition. But you always talk about, I've got a bag of fruit. But when it comes to young people, they're inquisitive. They ask questions. What's in the bag, mommy? Why are you carrying that bag, Mom? What's in the bag? I want to know what's in the bag, not the bag. I want to know what's in the bag. Because maybe there's something I like. There may be a situation that the child is not only inquisitive to want to know what's in the bag, but even more inquisitive to want to be able to touch what's in the bag. And to bring it out and to actually see it for themselves. What am I saying? Church has a way of talking about what God can do, what God is able to do. But then when it comes to the actual demonstration, the children say, when well, it's told me that God can keep me from falling, then how come I fall? Amen. Amen. For how come I can't overcome my temptation? How come every time Something's pulling me back. How come all the things you told me don't seem to endure itself when I need it the most? And I would like to speak to you tonight, if God permit, concerning my mind. Will you say it with me? My mind. My mind. My mind. I didn't quite hear it there. Will you say it? My mind. Love and transport. You with me so far? Yes, sir. Had something they created called a tube. <laughs> Americans call it a subway. Yes. But there was a cry that always went out. Mind the gap.
know it. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. And God brought something to me here. Because by verse, um, as we went on, as you read on in chapter 6, by the time they reached to verse 5, the Bible says that man, God saw that the wickedness of man was great, great in the earth. Great. 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 And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil yeah. continually. Oh, glory to God. And it repented God. God looked at a condition. Not that he needs to repent. But he acknowledged that the work that was started in him, man, how man had desperately fallen short. And that God only himself could bring redemption to mankind. And the Bible says that it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. I want to say tonight, brethren, that man's heart is still greatly wicked. And the imagination of man's heart has become desperate. Man rises up to play. Man rises up to do the things that are not pleasing to God. All because man has lost his mind. When you are out of fellowship with God, you will do things you shouldn't be. But when your mind is stayed on him, you cannot go where you please. You cannot do what you please. You cannot think as you please. Because your steps are ordered by the Lord. Now, Bridget, there was a time where there was a worshiper and this young man was called Abel. And Abel knew how to worship God with the right mind. He presented to God. But how is it that a person who has a right mind and has a good heart ends up dead? See, brethren, what I'm trying to say is you can have a good desire, but there's somebody on the back or around you that does not want you to be what God wants you to be. And we know that we call him Satan or we call or we call him the serpent or whatever you call him he's been put there for a reason some of us blame Satan for every little thing going wrong in our lives some of us blame him because we don't have this or we don't have that but if you were to get in God you would understand a lot of things you blame Satan for Satan is in some kind of wilderness sleeping and he ain't got time to run up and down he only plants a seed and moves off. Satan is not omnipotent. He can't be at the same place at the same time. Don't fool yourself. Satan is no match for your God. Satan is no match for your Savior. Satan is no match for God Almighty. Hallelujah. So I have to mm, go to God. Set my mind straight. Now, praise Young people, there is a world out there and it's being orchestrated by the enemy himself. He's known as the prince of the power of the air. He's known as a deceiver. He's known as a liar. He's known as a cheater and a swindler. He was the one that caused Eve to be swindled out of promise. But he could not take Adam face to face. So he caught fire a woman. And I want you to know, young man, that the devil will come fire a woman. Yes, I want you, young women, to know. Satan will come to you fire a man. And I tell you right now, it's not by the man that I'm talking about. It's 
is in the flesh now. There's a spirit in the flesh. There is a spirit in the flesh. Paul said, What I want to do good. Evil present. When I see the laws of my members rising up against that which I desire to do, when I desire to do the right, evil Messiah, something in my flesh rise up a spirit, rise up within me, trying to sway me from doing the things that God wants me to do. But I heard somebody say that the weapons of my warfare. Right. Holy Ghost. 
So at this moment in time, what you are looking at is just a case. But there is something in you that is going to be revealed. Oh, the God speak to the spirit tonight. You will never make to be defeated. You will never create to walk under. You are created to walk over your enemy. Oh God, you told Joshua where you put your foot. You shall possess it. Oh, some of us have been disentitled. Some of us have lost territory. Lives that belong to us. And we sit back like it's alright. No, 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 no. We have a liar in the midst. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So your first order is that you belong to God. Amen. Your second order is that you should worship Him. Yes. Now I've been in a lot of services over the 40 years. And I've seen many sisters worship God. All right. But I reached the point to say to God, God, when will the church be full of men? Some of our young sisters are looking for their husband. And there seems to be no light at the end of the tunnel. But I try to let them understand, get under the tunnel, and you'll see the light. If you come out of the tunnel, yes. you see light. Yes. If you stay in the tunnel, all you're going to see the light at the end. And you take away the tunnel, you see the light on the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody will be messing around with your mind. Look how easy it is for people to tell you something and you carry it and go on and go on at the end of the tunnel. The Bible tells me weeping and joy for the night. But when the Bible says joy cometh in the morning, it doesn't mean that it wasn't always. It doesn't mean it wasn't always. It was always there. But when you were mind changed, that's when it come in. Yeah. I'll give you an illustration. The cloud comes up in the sky, but the sun's still there. Yeah. We've been made a job for the night to come. But the child is always there, just tap it. Brothers, sons of God, princes, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. You are the first fruit of them that said, you are his creation, you are his children. So can we just praise the Lord for a minute?
some of the stuff that have been through these years they feel ashamed. Not that they're nothing, but they had something and they lost it for a moment of satisfaction. For a moment thinking that he loved me. But then he turned and when he went off to somebody else, he said, yes, I'll stay with you. Yes, I'll be your lover.
Make sure I'm ready. Come up here. He told Moses. He said, Moses, I'm not going to deny you what you asked for. But there are some things you ask God for. If you give it to him, he kill you. Too much. Too much. It's not a bad thing to ask. But some of the things you ask for, if you get it direct, it kill you. Too much. So what did God do? He had to prepare Moses. And before he prepared Moses, he prepared a place. Now the place that he prepared for Moses had to be prepared for itself. Moses was alright in one dimension. But the mountain itself had to be prepared for what the mountain was about to see. So when God told Moses, come on, and put him on the back of the mountain, yes, sir. God then spread a cleft in the mountain. Let me speak for the mountain. He opened me up. I was whole, but he opened me up with the command of his word. He said to me, open mountain, you who stand high, I command you to open yourself before me. Before I pass to show my servant, I'm commanding you to break out and leave a place that I may lay him. Moses was taken by God, set in a cliff of the rock. While Moses was facing the rock, God had to put his hand. That's why you know we need the laying of hand in the church. Because God had to put the hand in the way. Because when he passed, Moses was not able to be feeling the presence of God. Even though he was not, he talked to God face to face. But when God, he was requesting God to show him glory, Moses could only face the rock. Now, brethren, the Bible tells me that Jesus is the rock of ages. And when Moses was put into the rock, he was not put into something that was a natural rock. He was put into Christ, the solid rock, the rock of ages. So when Moses was facing backwards with God, God put his hand at the back of him. And while the Lord passed by, now when the glory of God Moses could only Hallelujah. tremble. Hallelujah. He told him to show him his glory. But Moses' face is facing into the rock. And all Moses is doing is trembling. So at what point did Moses see the glory? Praise me. There are some things that are not in the natural. It's in the spiritual. Moses' mind was transformed. It's not where he was put. And it's not so much how he was put. It was what his mind was thinking. Why he felt the presence of God passing by. Now, brethren, you know as well as I do, when something is greater than you and more mighty than you and more wonderful than you and more glorious than you, you can only do one thing. To every song, I'm asking you to take one step forward from where you are, one step sideways. Go ahead, right now. Just a step from where you were. So now you're looking at me from a different mind. A different location. Amen? Alright. So when you were there, you had to use your vision. But now you're here, you have to refocus. Alright. Now, brother.
Fathers, put your hand on yourself. Ask God right now, two minutes, to show you His glory and begin to worship. Father, in the name of Jesus, as they are about to speak to you, God, show them your glory that you show me, Lord, that you are able to keep them from falling. And oh God, do exceeding and bodily beyond what they can think or ask. Right now, in the name of Jesus, transform their minds tonight. Let them not conform to this world, but let them be transformed by the renewing of their mind. Cause their heart, their desire, their focus, their abilities to increase in you. Tear down the walls of the enemy. Cast out the imagination of the devil. Pull down the strongholds of the adversary. Release them from every curse. Release them from every abomination. Release them from every uncleanness of the flesh, no God, and the evil spirit. Let it have no preeminence over them as they begin to worship you right now. As they begin to praise you right now. Somebody stepping out, Lazarus come forth, Lazarus come forth, Lazarus come forth, right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to worship. Begin to worship. If you believe what you're praying, you know what your situation is. You know the lies, you know the faults, you know the weaknesses, you know the failures, but believe God right now. Sisters, will you rise with me to the closing? Sisters, rise with me right now. Will you hold your stomach right now in the name of Jesus? Now, to me, if you believe as the scripture has said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. In the name of Jesus, there are some tears in here. There's some weeping in here. There's some pain in here. There's some distress in here. And God does not want you to be under. God wants you to be on top. God does not want your life to be weary. God does not want you to be unfaithful. God does not want you to be a, a one that is only here one minute and gone the next. God is able to keep you. Can you begin to pray with me right now? Father, in the name of Jesus. Sisters, begin to pray right now. Begin to ask God. No matter who you are, just ask God. The woman came to the well. She had the only the water pot. But when she took her of the word of the Lord and God Come 